my name is Lindsay Ham. I'm a Pilates instructor here at the Clarity Center and I love Pilates. It has totally made such a difference in my life, especially through three pregnancies and babies. It's just helped me to stay strong and fit. And through doing Pilates, you're going to see a lot of awesome benefits. So first of all, you're going to have great posture, you're going to have longer, leaner muscles. It's awesome for your flexibility and it's really good for your core. That's sort of the number one thing that we target in all the exercises that we do. So with the core, most people think that it's all about flattening the belly and you know building a six pack and those are great benefits but it's actually really important because the core wraps around your entire waist so it's like a big belt of muscles that are deep deep down and if you can target those properly then you're going to be able to support the spine and the muscles that support the spine are going to really help to prevent injury so that's why that's why it's really important if you can incorporate pilates into your week and into your practice so today I'm going to go over three things that most people do wrong with abdominal work. So um, it's really easy, you can follow along. If you just want to get down on a mat or on the ground with me, I'll, uh, I'll show you those three common things. So first of all, you're going to start with a little bit of space underneath your lower back and the mat. So this is what we call neutral pelvis. You're going to have about a hip distance apart between your feet and your knees. With a neutral pelvis, you want to make sure that your pubic bone and your hip bones are all on the same level, so they, sh they should be flat, and you should have that little bit of space here. When most people do abdominal work, they crunch that space down right into the mat, and that's not actually what you want to do. So you can see that if I bring my hands back behind my head, and I nod my chin to my chest and come forward, if I crunch down into the ground, my abdominal wall lifts up. So what's happening there is you're building out and you're targeting those superficial muscles. Most people turn their hips in and really crunch this area in. So what you want to do is you want to actually keep that little bit of space underneath your back. Keep your head really heavy in your hands. Just draw your shoulders down and away from your ears. You're going to lift your elbows just a little bit. And as you come forward, try to keep your hip bones pressing forward a little. Try to keep that little bit of space there under your back. And you're going to just draw your belly button towards your spine. That's all you're going to do. So take a breath in. And then as you exhale, just sink that belly button down. And you can see that my belly is a lot flatter here. My chin is just looking towards my chest. And you're going to bring your um, ribs back away from your hips as you come down. So all you're doing is coming forward and back. And you're drawing your ribs towards your hips. So it's really, you can think of it sort of like two little elastics here, just getting shorter and then lengthening out. The second thing that people do wrong with their abdominal work is their neck. So this is probably the most common, I see it all the time. Um, when people come up into their, into their ab curl, usually their eyes stay looking at the ceiling. So what I want you to do is I want you to take your eyes from the ceiling and just bring them down towards your thighs. So take a deep breath. And then as you exhale, your eyes are going to look forward. And what, what happens there is your head rests above those shoulders and it's very supported. So the wrong way of doing that, if you want to bring your fingertips up to the ceiling, it's an easier way of demonstrating what the neck looks like when it's not supported. So often we'll do ab work like this where we press our hands down. And if people have their head hanging back here, it's like a heavy bowling ball hanging on your delicate neck. And you can see how my neck is um, strained. So that's how most people would injure their neck, um, especially when their abdominals are weak. So you want to take a deep breath in. Let's try that one more time. And then nod your chin to your chest. Press your fingers down. Press your hands down. Reach your fingertips away. And you can just come on up a little higher using your abdominal strength, drawing the belly button down and then just laying the head down. And the third thing that people do wrong um, in, in Pilates or ab abdominal work in general is letting their lower back arch. So I'm going to demonstrate this with a, um, a leg raise. So this is a common exercise for the lower abdominals. Usually when people do this, especially when the abdominals are weak, the lower back will start to arch. And what's happening there is you're putting your low back in a very unsafe position. So you want to keep pulling that low back down towards the ground, not cramming it into the ground, but just pulling it down and drawing down with the belly button toward the spine. 
So that, and then combined with the rib cage. So often when the low back arches, the rib cage will pop open like this toward the ceiling. So you wanna see if you can draw the ribs together, almost like you're knitting them together in the front of your body. So if you just practice those three things and make some small changes in your abdominal work, I'm sure that you'll notice a big difference in your results. Thanks so much.